Good Monday morning mojo with Randy Bird, the Triple M show. I just made that up. But anyway, listen, if you're seeing me on Zoom, good morning. If you're hearing me on podcast on uh, likeabosspod.com, like a boss pod, uh, we're excited to be here with you. And every Monday I come in with a little bit of motivation, a little bit of uh, you know respect and gratitude for what the week's uh, holding in front of us. And today is September 23rd, 2019. It's day 29 of 75 Hard. If you're following me, it's real. It's legit. If you want to do it, make better decisions. But seriously, it's the best thing I've ever done. I feel amazing. Today's week four check-in. So it was full pictures, uh, full update, full weighing, all that kind of stuff. I'm down uh, just a little over a whisker over nine, eight pounds. But uh, more importantly, I'm building a ton of muscle mass and feeling amazing. But um, went down to Sacramento last week for a, uh, a fun trip as well as to get together with some friends, had an amazing trip for a lot of different reasons. But on the trip, I always listen to Audible. And on the, I've listened to David Goggins' uh, book before, Can't Hurt Me. I've read the book and listened to it. And so I decided to listen to it again. Um, really, it was kind of going in with my 75 Hard Challenge. And he said something that hit me like a brick in the forehead. He said, you cannot win the war against the world if you cannot win the war against your mind. And what he means by that is your mind has a tactical advantage over you. It is a pre-programmed to protect you. Think about that for a minute. It's pre-programmed to protect you, meaning that it's going to keep you out of harm. It's going to steer you away from harm, away from pain. And this is all meant to keep you alive, to help you survive. And it's not made to help you thrive. It's made to help you survive. It's that fight or flight mechanism. You know, when you get really, really scared and you just literally take off running two or three steps first, then you, okay, what am I running from? That's because it's built into your body to help you survive back in the days when we were not very high on the food chain. So nowadays, it still plays into effect. If we have a scary situation, something that we're, you know, running from pain, whether it's making your phone calls or, or stopping by a client or, or dealing with some, something that's... <clears throat> adverse in your life or your business. Um, you know, we naturally move away from pain. We don't move towards pain. And, and this is a survival mechanism. Well, self-discipline is at the center of all this, right? Self-discipline is at the center of material success and doing 99% of the things that most people are not willing to do. And so for me, Monday Morning Mojo is really just that reminder. It's that belief system that we can change our outcome by being purposeful. We can change our outcome by identifying the idea that we're just living in a, a state of fear. And where it's, whether it's a fear of the phone, I mean, come on, let's be honest. No, but even today, I don't like picking up the phone in certain situations, especially if I'm not comfortable. Now, if I'm comfortable, I, could, I can get on that phone and dial and it actually fuels me because I've, I've developed a muscle. I've developed something around it that is valuable. And, you know, for me, um, I just, I have to work through it sometimes. And, and I'm really an expert in this. I've got at least $10,000 in prospecting and coaching and, and um, you know, objection handling, but it still comes up for me. So if you've never done it, of course, it's going to come up for you. Hell to the yes, it's going to come up for you, but get past it. Um, one of the tactics I used to teach is call the first two or three people, people you're going to be, they're going to be happy to hear from you. So you create a little momentum. Don't stop there. But if you're doing your hour or one hour, two hour power hour, like I coach all my clients that are listening that should be doing it right now between nine and 11, 1130, you know, make sure that you're maybe starting with a couple things to get you warmed up. A couple of people that'd be happy to hear from you, past clients, friends, whatever, and then build into that following a script. So you don't get choked up and really understanding the objections, you know, objections are the easiest thing to overcome if you're prepared for them. I remember one thing I used to feel a little weird about driving up in a brand new BMW or a brand new $70,000 F250 truck. And they're like, wow, I can't afford you. Uh, you know, clearly you, you make too much money for us. And I just say, you know what, that one's paid for, but thank you. You're going to help me with the next one. And then just move past it. Right. It was my response, if you will, it was my script to that particular objection or comment. And, um, you know, Marines have a, uh, a saying that I really, I was a Coast Guard guy, not a Marine. Hoorah, I'm out to the Marines, though. I'm proud of those guys. But um, 
Marines had a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die, right? And that's kind of in real estate. We look at real estate and we say, I want to do 300,000 GCI. I want to do a half a million. I, I want to do a million. I want to sell $10 million listings. But you're not willing to do the things that require you to get that kind of experience, which is getting no's, getting your door slammed in your faces, you know, door knocking in high-end neighborhoods and, and working and dressing the part and acting the part and learning the part, learning the language, hanging out at the country clubs, whatever it is, if you want to get into a higher sales bracket, you have to have the discipline to get into that. You can't just wish it and hope it and have it happen. It does not happen that way. All right. Um, something as simple as affirmations to tell you that you're capable. And I have an affirmation I, I listen or I read every single morning and every single night. It's called my daily declaration, but it's an affirmation basically. And it's stating the exact amount of money I'm going to receive, the exact date it's going to be received, how I'm going to receive it, what I'm going to do in return for that receiving of it. And then, and then reinforcing my belief around that, right? I believe that I will have this money in my possession. My faith is so strong that I can now see this money before my eyes. I can touch it with my hands and, and touch it with my fingers. I'm awaiting for this money to transfer me at the proportion and at the, at the proportion that I deliver the service in return for it, right? So basically, by making these statements, it gave me a little goosebumps, but making these statements are going to help you go after your dreams and visions. So for this Monday Morning Mojo, I just want you to think about that for a minute. Your mind has a tactical advantage. Kick that thing in the ass. Don't let it win. You and your, your willpower will have a, an advantage over that, that monkey brain if you give it thought, if you think about it, if you focus your attention to it, all right? And focus on the things that are in your best interest. Every day, we are choosing shit that is not in our best interest. So if there's, if there's a feeling like the world is attacking you, and the world wants to fight you right now, you know, what's holding you back, right? So what is holding you back? Think about that for a minute. If you're going to go and make your phone calls when we get off this, off you, off this uh, recording today and it inspires, motivates you, or, or moves you into action, number one, thank you. That's what this is all about. And number two is make a list prior to making your phone calls of maybe the 10 or 15 or 20 people you're going to reach out to today and leave us have a script for a powerful message. If you leave a message, have a powerful script for what you're going to say to them. And, you know, another, another small hack possibly, or a, a bonus if it helps you is one of the things that I did for the beginning of my career was I made a hundred phone calls a day. I've talked about this many a times. And the guys in my office used to walk by and give me crap. Ooh, Randy's making his phone calls again, you know? And, and then later they're asking me how I did my phone calls, how I've been so successful. What do I say? The same people. But what I said every morning was something very simple. And it was this, Hey, this is Randy with EXP Realty here in Santa Rosa. And I was just curious, are you thinking about buying, selling, or investing in the next six months? Question mark. And then pause, wait for them to answer. And you'll notice the answer is going to be a yes, no, or maybe. And what I mean by that, if they say, well, actually, we were thinking about that, then you can go into that script. If they go, no, absolutely, we're, we, we love this house. We're going to be carried out of here in a pine box. I had a script for that. And if they said, you know, not, I'm, we're, I don't think so. We're not really sure. I had a script for that because that's a maybe, right? And then maybe that script was something like this. Hey, you know, I know you're a maybe and, and I totally respect that. But listen, if you were able to get the absolute maximum amount of money you think your house is worth today, would you consider it or are you just, you know, still not quite ready? Whatever it is to help that dialogue continue is the power, right? So again, summary, you cannot win the war against the world if, you're, if you can't win the war against your mind. Your mind has that tactical advantage. Quiet the mind by doing affirmations and beliefs and get yourself discipline centered around all your success materials that can help you do this. All right. And then lastly, um, you know, take care of yourself as you're doing this. 
you know, maybe a little quiet time right before your call. So you really picture yourself winning. You really picture yourself setting those one or two or three major beautiful appointments. You can't see me on the podcast right now, but my eyes are closed. My eyes are closed because I'm visioning that. I'm visioning you making those calls today and having the three most beautiful appointments of your whole career lined up one after another. And that feeling that you get, that, that feeling in your chest that you get from winning the day. So go out there, win the day, win the week, win the month, and you'll win the year towards your goals. All right, this is Randy Bird. Thank you for coming. If you've enjoyed this, share it with one person. That's the price of admission. Share it with one person. We appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Happy Monday to you. Bye for now.